Uh, <clears throat> after a week of what even what even happened this week, George? Did that's right. I did fonts. Now, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but you should. And I'm not even going to tell you how to follow me on Instagram because all you do is go to the website, which is linked everywhere and anywhere. So if you follow me on anything at all that's followable, you would know from the picture of the green letters that I have spent 12 hours converting the font that took me 27 hours to make two years ago. Yes. Uh, no, I did not use the blank paper that doesn't have anything written on it to make it sound like I'm actually reading off of something. Uh, <clears throat> for those of you in Read Rapids, George wants to make sure that you understand. Uh, well, I, I, I guess it goes back to that insistence on accuracy. The media is, well, I mean, I don't want CNN pounding on my door, demanding to come in here. Uh, and if I don't let them in, then it's a constitutional attack. So we want to be fully fair. And um, I suppose you could say balanced, but that's, I don't know. Should I read? George, I don't know if I have time to read over this. I've got this this I've got this chart that I've uh <clears throat> written out and I'm I'm motioning with my hands, which you can probably hear as I bump into the microphone at times. But you can't well maybe you I'm 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 undecided as to whether or not I should go through this or whether I should make this a very special edition. Okay, good idea. I'm gonna make this. Thank you for that suggestion, by the way. I am going to make this a very special edition podcast at a later time. So you already saw by the orange and the label that this is a normal podcast weekly, but a very special edition is coming. So you can rest easy. I'm going to talk about what I was originally going to talk about, and that actually relates to the topic that you asked, well, someone asked me about this week, Hail Nate, and uh, the font that I was... See, how could a font relate to a question you're asking, right? Avenue Guru. You know, Avenue.Guru, the, like, you can look it up, Avenue, like, in Instagram, it's Avenue Guru, and on Twitter, it's Avenue Guru, and it's the website, just type into the browser, Avenue.Guru, like, .Guru is an extension, for those of you in Read Rapids who didn't know that, get .com, .net, .Guru, Avenue.Guru, and it's a book I'm working on, and it's a website with prototype photos already there, and I, I, t well, here's the geekery design stuff that I do. I originally made this font using pixels and they were like, like a letter was like 900 pixels tall, one letter. And then I take these photos and I'd s put my letters together and count the pixels between them. And it would take me like an hour to make the word lift, like from letters that had made me 27 hours to make. And I put that together and I'd superimpose that and I'd do the clipping mask thing on top of as you're editing the photo and it, and it would find its way onto avenue.guru where you actually can purchase that literally the size of your wall or on a little tiny five by seven piece, like there for a purchase. And the concept was that we need to have motivational words like, you know, the motivational poster genre from long, 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 and it's become like a joke. I, that was back in the day when it would take someone weeks, maybe, to make one of those posters. Now we've got, you know, you can do that in Photoshop in like two minutes. So those old motivational style posters, you know, black, nice picture box around it, big letter with the color that accentuates one of the colors in the photo. And then a little, little cute saying underneath it explains what the little thing about it. And those, and then despair ink picked that up, sent us all catalogs in the mail. And then the dot coms came out. So despair.com came out totally making fun of the motivation and that, that shot. Now motivational posters are only good to be the butt of people's jokes. Right. Okay. So I still like awesome pictures, not cute ones, but awesome ones. And I like words and I like colors. So I thought up this way of putting these good words around us so that they could inspire in a soft, good way. And I use this for my own purposes. And that's the philosophy of the Avenue Guru. And I spent 12 hours 
over a little miniature holiday thing we've got here in Asia while everyone is celebrating or commemorating or whatever they're eating, the uh, the slaughter of uh, the the formerly ruling political parley parties parlay parties in Taiwan when they slaughtered all these people and the experts debate how many people were actually killed. But I'm serious. Literally, there's a national holiday to commemorate how the ruling party slaughtered a bunch of people. Isn't that politics for you? So during this time, I'm so glad that, that they slaughtered those people, I suppose I should be, because I got this holiday. What a morbid thing to say. George, I want you to cut that out of the podcast after we get done, and I don't want that part to appear in there. All right, and you're going to do your job as the official podcast observer. So I took this time to take this pixel font and put it into scalable vectors, which if you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter. But I can spit these pictures out so much more quickly, and they're going to be better quality because I'm going to do it the right way. And it has a philosophy of life. And here's the philosophy, Nate. It's all about opportunity. And and I don't mean believe that you can think happy thoughts. That's not what I mean. But, see, Nate and I were talking about how to try to get projects done, how to how to try to make things happen. And then we got into talking about, well, what if it doesn't happen? And and what if, you know, I mean, Lord willing, we'll do this. And, you know, that's what James says we should say. But I, this is something I explained to my friend over the phone. And I'm going to tell you just about word for word what I told him. It's not about what you want. It's about choosing a direction with open eyes, open ears, and open heart held with an open hand and greeting everything with open arms. Proverbs 3, 6 says a man chooses his path, but the Lord directs his steps. Now a path is a lot bigger than steps. A friend of mine once said, not even God can steer a parked car. I mean, you know, you got to be going somewhere. You pick a direction, a general direction, and you just go in it. And you, you see how it works. You don't. You can't anticipate or chart out every single chatterbump along the way. You can't plan what you're going to do if you run into road construction. Some things you have to take it. You know, you well, I take it as it comes. Some things you have to take as they come. And th- that's not being whimsical. That's called being prepared. It's called knowing that you're able to handle those situations. And, and this is life. We pursue something. We don't know how it's going to happen, but we're going in a direction because that's what we do. You pick, I mean, we, we pick directions. Yeah, that's it. I, I, I think that's it. Well, I, I did, I didn't know how this, I never thought I was going to ever get this font into vector, but I made the font long ago and I started doing the vector thing when I saw that I had the time. So, I don't know. Go somewhere. Go, go, go somewhere. And while you go somewhere, I'm going to get to the point. America is seeing an epidemic of immaturity. People in their 20s and 30s are self-destructing like I have never known. The story is always the same. Adults and culture didn't treat me fairly when I grew up. So they injure themselves, hurt themselves, fool themselves, squander themselves, and reject themselves All because someone else treated them wrongly. Really? An entire generation made unwise choices because they were mistreated? It's not their fault, even a little? Don't live that way. Don't hurt yourself because of others. Don't ignore good advice because someone told you in the wrong tone of voice. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteel.com.